All right. We're live. Yeah, we are live. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> what was that? I got a feedback from somewhere. Uh, yeah, from Devil my, and Me with pants. Sam's hanging out with me, and I got Midnight Masses in here. What's up, guys? Introduce yourself. What's up, guys? Hello, you my know? name is Autry. I'm Midnight Masses. And everybody else is. My name's Destiny. My name's Miyuki. Eric. I'm Danny. All right. It sounds like there's a lot of people in there's here. There's a lot of people in here. It's kind of hot in here. Yeah, what's up? Where's that phone? <laughs> I feel like we're at a, a, like a telethon. Keep uh, calling. So tell me a little about, your, uh, about yourselves, guys. You guys, uh, Gospel Gothic Soul. Explain that to me. I need to know about that. Um, Midnight Masses uh, was born out of a, a tragedy that happened in the uh, form of my father's untimely passing a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, I took a trip exactly two years ago to Austin, Texas to... Uh, Work on some music with some friends of mine in Trail of Dead, and uh, oh, cool. a couple of members, and I decided to uh, work on some other music that turned into a Midnight Masses with this lineup of Miyuki, Danny, Eric, Destiny, and myself, along with Jason Reese from Trail of Dead. So you started down here, you started writing down here, but you guys all live in in Brooklyn. We all live in Brooklyn except for Jason, who lives in Austin. Yeah, I so. see you guys all the time. Like I run into you guys. Yeah, you actually look familiar. I did. You pro I probably poured you coffee before. Yeah, maybe. Where? Where? Where at? Uh, uh, there's a, a popular restaurant and bar that I work <laughs> at. Popular. <laughs> let's not, let's, let's called, not mention the name. It's called Chili's. <laughs> Wait, I've heard of that place. <laughs> that place. That's not the Bloom and Onion place, though. That's it, 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 one in the same. Why? <laughs> no, no, I just yeah, there's a there once. <laughs> so uh, you guys are playing tonight. You guys are headlining tonight, 7:55. So anyone who's listening, uh, you know, be sure and stop by. You guys are headlines at the Fader Fort, Levi's Fader Fort, 755. 755. Um, I also have, I have a little questionnaire that I uh, developed over a period of six beers <laughs> that goes a little something like this. And this is just a bunch of questions. You can throw out any answers. This is for everyone here. But this is a bunch Boxers. of random questions that I thought. Um, uh, <laughs> at what point in Aerosmith's career do you just say, all right, fuck it, this is embarrassing? One of the three songs, Crying, Crazy, Amazing, or whatever the... That is right! That is. <laughs> oh, my God! We have a winner. The other answer I would have taken was... Was uh, anything off permanent vacation, which would be <laughs> ragdoll, doodle like a lady. <laughs> but yeah, crying crazy, amazing crazy. All melded into those. one song. I was, I was really into that Alicia Silverstone and Liv Tyler oh, series the video of videos. Was fantastic. That was really awesome. It was pretty good, right? That was crying crazy. I, I didn't even realize that was too much, man. About I just put, put it on mute. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that was crying from late. Don't, don't judge me, <laughs> goddammit. All right, uh, um, along the same line, at what point in Elvis's career do you say the same thing? That's never. A, that's a tough one. I, I would say about exactly correct. It was awesome. a trick question. You yeah. never say that about Elvis. <laughs> that's right. God, I think the got... highlight of Elvis' career was uh, during his Vegas period. Oh, I like yeah. the Hawaii shit. We had the fucking head to toe leather man. Oh, and black, yeah. The black comeback. The black comeback. Yeah. yeah. No, but the second part, though, when he did in the ghetto with like the big, like all the lights. In the there, ghetto. Awesome. <laughs> that's good. So you guys are good, man. You guys Why has it got to be a black comeback? You guys are two for two. <laughs> 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 you guys are two for two. All right. Um, when is it okay to wear a sweater vest? Mm. It's a little off the subject of music. Always. Always if you're Vampire Weekend. When, when you're, when you're, <laughs> oh, my God. These guys are. Again, that's what I had. Always as long as you're Vampire. No, I didn't know that at all. Um, let's see. What else? We, oh, how many rugs is it okay to have on stage? This is kind of an important question because sometimes you see these bands and they got like 17 fucking rugs. Oh, yeah. Like Zeppelin it's, had 19 It's ridiculous. Rugs. So how many rugs are okay to have on stage? Depends on how many girls are in your band. Oh. I'll, take, I'll take that. Wait, so the we're going go for one rug? Is that what we're looking at here? Sometimes we have like five other girls. We have an all-girls string section sometimes too. Yeah, really. Six rugs. But um, that's a lot of rugs. That's a lot of rugs. <laughs> and, no, I mean, no, never. Mind. We should digress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me get past on that one. Um, oh, when is it okay to be barefoot on stage? Ooh, Leonard Skinner. When you're jamming, dude. Just that's it. When you're jamming. When you're jamming in the name of the Lord. I can't. Well, I might give you that. I'm sorry. The the, the correct answer is if you're a drummer or Chris Robinson. That's it. Those are the only two. I don't think he has shoes. No, he doesn't own shoes. I saw him walking down Second Avenue one time. Yeah, he's like a tall hippie hop. Towards the F. I, not even any lie. The guy was like, "Hey man, where's the F?" And I was like, "Right down there." And I looked down. He had you no have shoes, to have on. shoes on. I'm dead serious.